the old little stakeout fish in here. Uh, boys, I was going to turn the camera on and do a little talking when I got set up. And I had been sitting down about two minutes. Old deer showed up. I'm done shot it. I seen her go down over there, but she laid down. I shot her a little bit too far back, but I believe I've got her, but I ain't going to go to her anytime soon. I wouldn't sit down, I'm guaranteeing. The time I got this little old gizmo right here set up, she come up here, went by me, and then turned around and come back, and I was ready for her. Little raven bow right there, boy, I tell you right there, that's a ready machine. You go over here and look for this deer, uh, you know, them thorn brown heads, you know. I use them. You see that fence right there? I shot that deer through that fence, okay? And that thorn's got higher rods of clearing that fence versus them ones got them wing sticks out of them like a rage and all the rest. Branches and twigs too. This deer was moving a little when I shot her. I probably should have let her a couple of inches with her. 35 yards, I believe, is what she was. But Now, I didn't get a laser before I shot. She walked back to a place where I thought that's what she was because I'd lasered it before. There it is. Pretty good shot right there. Might have been moving just a little on me, but now that's where it went in. I use that little old short Primus trigger stick, but I didn't put the bow on it. I just put my hand on top of that and the bow on top of my hand. That's a good eating deer right there. Short deer hunt, I like him. There's the bow still stuck in the ground. That thing probably went in the ground, no telling how far. And this piece of cedar here. You see the blazer open, don't it? These things cut good. Let's see if I can get this thing out. 